Hey guys, today we're opening a couple of Charizard theme packs, one of them being the Charizard lunchbox or the treasure chest, and the other one being the build and battle stadium, the Charizard edition. So looking forward to pulling these open. I know they do have uh, Obsidian Flames and I believe it's Scarlet and Violet included in these packs. So pretty excited, as usual we'll run through what's on them and what's in them and rip them open and see what we get. Let's get into this, they call it a treasure chest. So we have six Pokemon booster packs, three foil cards, one Pokemon coin, three colorful sticker sheets, a mini portfolio and a code card for the online game. So there's a few things there, whether or not that's everything. Let's get it open. Well, firstly, I have to say that it is a really nice tin. It's, um, I have a feeling this would be something you'd probably want to hold on to for a while. It's got hollow through it in some bits as well. I don't know if that picks it up on the camera, but there is hollow through it. Um, it's a nice looking tin. Might use that as my new lunchbox. All right. So I'm assuming Ooh, okay. So first of all we have our promo cards. Got a crop of our in the middle is our it is an escaladurge. There is your plastic flip coin, Charizard. Your three promo cards. Hollow. Pretty cool. And there's the code card. Now we have Paradox Rift. I didn't realize I had Paradox Rift in this. Okay, so let's get these packs out of here. One Paradox Rift, an Obsidian Flames, and a Paldea Evolved. And same thing. Now, what have we here? We're gonna get this out. There we go. Now, I believe. Okay, so these are stickers. Three, four stickers with a Charizard sticker at the back. Okay, pretty cool. More collector's items than anything, just things you kind of hold on to. And we have, it's like a mini, mini binder. Pretty cool. And that is it. Let's start with Paradox Rift. It's nice to pull something good out of these. Like I said, like a lot of the cheaper, smaller items I've bought have actually given me better hits. And a lot of the bigger items I bought. So there we go. Let's get into it. Cedra, Magby, Minerlight, Super Strike. That's a pretty cool looking card. A Globat, Minun, Molotic. Cool looking card. Nothing too exciting there. I haven't opened much um, Paradox Rift yet, so still reasonably, reasonably new series. I haven't really found anything exciting from that. Right. And, uh, energy, Natu, Pumpkaboo, Zubat, Quarf. Luxurious Cape, Cyclozar, Stanny. Oh, wow, there we go. And we have a supporter card. More Pico. Look at that. Rika, trainer card. Two stars down there. Full art. Beautiful looking card. You know what? That's the first card I can think of that's had a car in it, actually. What a beautiful looking card. Definitely can't complain with that. I don't mind the full art illustrator card. Uh, illustrator, the full illustration trainer cards. Let's try that again. 
obsidian flames. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have our code card. Now, uh, da, 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 yes. Basic energy, mongoose, Charmander, Dratini, Oddish, Amarouge, Among Us, Seismitoad, the Chonk, Hoppy, and a Dark Rye. There it is, my favourite. I also play the um, online TCG game, and I've got a, uh, a deck with these guys in it, a Dark Rye. Uh, who else was it? Roaring Moon and a few of those Pokemon and uh, Dark Rise. Definitely one of my favourite to use in that. So it's a good card. It is a good card. We have Paldea Evolved. I have never pulled anything good from Paldea Evolved. I've opened ETBs, I've opened individual packs, and I have never got one good pull from Peldea Evolve. Therapeutic Energy, Choice Belt, Hormo, Sunsparse, Tinker Tot, and there you go, as usual. I don't know if the hit rates on Peldea Evolved, if they're just extremely low, or there's just not much good, I, I really don't know. But I have not hit one, not one, Let's see if today's the day that we change it up a little bit. Oh, Windle, Electrode, you're off. The loser, oh, and there we go. Oh, goodness me. Did I speak too soon? Let's get on to this one. Copperaja, which is a, a cool card, but look at this. Quaquavel EX, gold Quaquavel EX, three stars. Guys, I was just bagging out how terrible this set was, and then of all the cars to pull, of all the cars to pull, I pull a three gold star golden Quaquavel EX. Well, I've just eaten my words, so I'll eat my humble pie now, but that is a Fantastic looking card. Beautiful, beautiful looking card. Looking forward to looking into that. I went from zero to a hundred <laughs> very quickly. Uh, what do we got here? Obsidian Flames. Uh, let's see what we got. So we got code card. Okay. Energy. Smollett. Vroom, send it. Electric, Stunfisk, Sazzle, Nose Pass, Stanny, and a Toge Kiss. Okay. All right, so that is it for the. That's it for the packs from the chest. Now we're going to move over to the building battle. Okay, so the Build and Battle Stadium. Now, there's actually quite a fair bit in this. So, there is quite a fair bit. We've got two Build and Battle boxes, each containing a ready-to-play 40-card deck uh, with one of four promo cards, so it is random. Three additional Obsidian Flame Booster Packs, so that's 11 in all. 121 basic energy cards, six damage counter dies, a competition legal flip coin die, two coin condition markers, and of course, the collector box to hold it all in. You know, this is basically an ETB that's uh, had the center divider taken out by the looks of it. That's exactly the kind of box it is. Okay, much like an ETB, it slides out from the side. Have we got anything else? No. Nice artwork though. And the Dragonite there looks like a Reverum. Room. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have the three bonus packs. 
obsidian flames. We have our ready to play deck. Four Pokemon Obsidian Flame Booster Packs. So it looks like it's got cards ready to battle. So you can basically play with your friends. A whole, whole load of energy cards. Of course, your dice. Edition markers. And your second built and battle. I reckon we get started with the three obsidian flames. Let's see what we get out of these. As usual, the Charizard, I think, is the king card of this set. Okay, energy. Right. Skull Ralph, Wiglet, Shuckle, Poptar, Nine Tails, and Thunderous. I opened my first pack of Obsidian Flames, I think it would have been probably three months ago. And I pulled the Golden Charizard out, which I'm very happy about. Uh, since then, all the other Obsidian Flames I've opened, I think I haven't pulled anything too exciting. Oddish. Uh, wait a minute. Hmm. I'll start work on that. Lapis, some shoes, and Virginia. Okay, two down. Lucky last, the Dragonite. Let's see if this is the luck we need. Don't really having much luck. I mean, I have to say, I am very happy with those two pools we got. Um, but, oh, that's interesting. And elephant. Nice looking hollow. But not what we're chasing. So these building battles. Let's check them out. I know there's a few different ones out there. Most series have their own build and battles, I'm assuming, but um, I didn't actually realize that what these are, are uh, basically a way that you can start playing with your friends straight away. So the cards that are in it will obviously give you a 40 card deck, so 40 and 40 with your energy cards, and you can pretty much start playing straight away. So I like the idea of it. Okay, what do we got here? We have obsidian flames. Is this just a? Oh, it's like a bit of a player guide, how to build your deck. Card list. What is the very last card? Three star card. The very last card is the basic fire energy three star. So I'm assuming that'll be a particular hollow energy. So let's see if we're lucky enough. So that's our 40 card deck. Now I am assuming that this 40 card deck is the same on both sides. So what I might do, I might put it aside. I'll wait till I open the other one and see if they're both the same. Uh, let's get these obsidian flames open. All right. So promo card must where is that promo card? It said that there's one of four promo cards. I'm just wondering if it's in in that pack, so we're going to have to take a look in there. Okay, Magnemite, Eevee, Tiger School, Pidgeotto, Dragonair. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's just a basic card, but that's beautiful artwork on that. Oopa, and Quirinox. One down, three to go. Energy, Magnemite, Eevee, turn I feel like I'm in the twilight. I swear that's the first three cards we just pulled in the last pack. The 
Twilight Zone, Vulpix, Fernsley, and a Toxic Tox Toxtricity. I'm not kicking any dolls just yet. Let's take a look here. Energy, Hounder, Combi, Diglett, Rowlet, Amrouge, Ortega, Lillipup, and oh, there we go. Not bad. Full art. Greeter. Gita, sorry. Quite a beautiful card. We have two grey stars down there. Can't complain with that. Add that to the trainer cards we pulled. And lucky last. I wonder if we're going to get that Charizard. I think this is the pack. I think this pack, I'm going to pull a Charizard right now. I just feel it. This is it. Here we go, Charizard coming up. Ready, and nothing. Okay, well, they say the power of positive thinking, you know, you gotta, yeah, that didn't quite work out by planet. Let's get this one open. I'm interested to see if the first card of the deck is the same. Or whether it's different. Let's take a look. We already know what that is. And okay, so it is different. It's different. All right. So we're going to have to open those up. Let's get these four open. Let's get that Charizard out first because I know that I know that one of these. I I just feel it. I just feel like. Today is the day. Don't know how, don't know why, but I just feel it. Charmander, Dratini, Seismitoad. Here we go. Here it comes. Oh, no, not quite. Well, th there's another greeter. That's not the one, but hey, here we go. Levita. One star down there. I don't really want to say what that looks like, but I, I think you can kind of use your imagination. Uh, and I guess if anyone gets hungry enough, you, you know, you gotta eat, you gotta eat. But that's a nice looking card. Very simple, but nice nonetheless. Okay, let's get this one open. The Cockrevel is Definitely the king hit so far. There's no doubt about that. Well, at least I believe so. Bettini, Oddish, Grumpig, Bellybolt, Diglett, here comes a Charizard. No, but it is a. Wow. Okay. Two star E. ESQ. But that is quite a beautiful card, actually. Quite a good looking card. Interested to look into that. It, it, it is only two stars. It's an EX, but the artwork's nice. It's definitely a card that stands out. So, happy with that. Add that to the EX pile. And then there were two. Okay, we have our Thunder Energy, Oddish, Swablu, Clement, Tadbol, Terra, Morwell, Fungus, and Sizer. And then there was one before I get those other larger packs open and see if they are in fact the same or whether. They are completely random cards. I don't know if they're if they're like a, just random cards put together with chances of hitting, or whether it's just a set deck. That's what I'm interested to find out. Okay, last pack. Here we go. This is the one. Flamingo, Whooper. Nothing. 
All right. We've started off with a hollow on this one. So, how does this work? I, I'm, I'm just going to go through them, I think. Ah, oh, that must be the promo. Is that the promo card? Okay, I have a feeling that could be the promo card. And you see down the bottom there, little symbol. So that could be the promo card. So, all right, you've got a whole bunch of energy. Okay, all right. And then you've got um, your standard deck just to get you started and have a bit of fun. All right, so I'm assuming this is going to be the promo card. I did say that there's one in four. So that will be our promo card. Rouge kiss. Okay, oh, okay, so this one's water. Interesting. Oh, what? Uh huh. It's interesting that they would have a water deck in against a fire deck when you know that water does have a clear advantage over fire. So it's interesting that they use that, they have a water and a fire deck because they're basically putting the, the opponent at a disadvantage. Ever since I've started learning how to play, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it, but they all have their own class. So for example, Charmander is a fire Pokemon. But the problem with that, having a, a water deck against a fire deck inherently is that water has weak, uh, fire has weakness to water. So it always shows you what the weakness is down the bottom left, which means that any damage done to this Pokemon by a water Pokemon is doubled so yeah to have a water deck against a fire deck uh, in a building battle like that it doesn't really seem very very equal but nonetheless maybe it's just completely random and what you get is what you get okay guys so that's our hit for today with the building battle and the treasure chest Charizard so again thanks for watching and look forward to seeing you all next time enjoy your week